Hey yo! What is good, spectators? Once again, it's your boy Ant hitting you with another installment of my weekly vlog. It is Christmas time. Most wonderful time of the year. See, so yeah, I got my jacket on, my Christmas jacket on. Got my sweater, my sweater, and my jacket. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a few of my favorite things to do around the holiday season. The theme, the title for today's vlog is a few of my favorite things. A young Christian's guide to celebrating the holidays right. Come on, yo, that's, that's legit. I sound saved. So this is gonna be a pretty quick vlog. I just wanna share with you guys a few things. The first thing that's on my list is to do something for someone who's not in your immediate circle, uh, especially to those who are less fortunate, those who are on the streets, uh, those who are out in the cold in this holiday season. Sometimes we can get co so caught up with getting the kids gifts or getting spouse gifts that you forget that there are people who do not have a family, people who don't have friends. It would be great to find someone to give something to uh, that is of value to you. The second thing on my list is to make a sacrifice and to be humble about making that sacrifice. So maybe you give a bigger offering than what you usually give at church. Or maybe you give someone a gift and you don't necessarily tell them who it's from, like a Secret Santa type of deal. It's just a lot of different things that you can do, uh, not just in this season, but especially in this season. Yo, is this recording? Sheesh. The next thing on the list is to spend quality time with the ones that you love. We can get so busy around the holiday season working and trying to make sure that we have money for this and for that, that we forget to spend time with the ones who are the closest to us. That's our families, that's our friends. Those are the people that hold you up in prayer. These are the people that are with you through the thick and through the thin. So we don't wanna forget them, especially during the holidays. Find special time to spend with those family members and those friends so that you can make the memories that'll last a lifetime. Number four, take time to reflect on the things that God has done for you just this year. Find those times and those periods in your life where God stepped in and he intervened and give him thanks and praise for that because even though you might not have everything you want for the holidays, you might be coming up short financially, you might be stranded away from your family, it, whatever the situation might be, God is still good. And last but not least, meet somebody new. It's easy to just stay in our circles around the holiday season because we want to be closely knit to the ones we love most. But it's great to reach out to people who may not be around family, who may not be around friends, who may be new to your city, who might be new to your job. It'd be a great thing for you to maybe invite them over to your house with your family to spend the holidays. The devil is out to steal, kill, and to destroy. Perfect way to do that is through isolation. When people feel isolated, the devil can say any and everything to them. So now is the right time to reach out to those people, to make a new friend, to make those new uh, partnerships and friendships and see what God does with the rest. So that's been five of my favorite things that I do around the holiday season and that I would like to encourage you guys to do uh, this holiday season and don't think that it has to stop at Christmas. Let the love continue to flow. I encourage you guys to have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Um, I'm loving the feedback that I'm getting from these vlogs. Thank you so much everybody who's been commenting and letting me know that these have been blessing you. Uh, I'm looking forward to so much in the future. You guys have happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. God bless.